Hi everybody, Woody here with Quail Creek Home Inspections. Today I am on the northwest side of Albuquerque doing a home inspection. This particular home is listed as move-in ready. It has new appliances, new paint, quite a few upgrades have been done to it. But while performing the inspection, we're finding quite a few little issues here and there. And if you've been watching some of my previous videos, this is kind of an ongoing series of inspecting flipped homes. And a flipped home is just basically one that was purchased maybe at a lower price. A new homeowner came through, upgraded, did quite a few nice modern upgrades, made the home look nice, and then is reselling it. Quite often these flipped homes are not necessarily uh, refurbished with professionals. Most of the time it is just an investor. And so there are some things that we definitely find with these homes. And I wanted to point a few of those out. So I am in the primary bathroom. And we're gonna see a couple of common mistakes that we find with some of these flipped homes. So first off, the new sink. We have a new sink, new vanity. This looks very nice. A Couple of minor issues though. First of all, the sink itself is reverse plumbed. All that really means is that the hot and cold have been reversed. Not a major issue, but definitely an inconvenience. Coming down below the sink, we can see another one of those pesky uh, flexible drain hoses. These are very cheap, easy fixes. Uh, we used to call those Kmart specials, but I don't even think Kmart's around anymore. Uh, but basically, it's a very easy, cost-effective way to fix a drain pipe if you're not familiar with setting one of those up on your own. Um, the issue we have with those is these ridges create little areas where everything can get stuck. So soap scum, hair, toothpaste, all of that will get stuck in there. It can eventually clog the drain and it can create some pretty significant odors. So we definitely don't prefer those. Coming over here, we have a brand new toilet. This has just been installed, but we can see that it has not been installed very well. The slightest little nudge of that toilet actually makes the whole thing uh, kind of shift and, and rock. When you flush it, that does leak all over the floor. So we definitely don't want toilet water leaking on the floor. So that toilet needs to be remounted and then the caulking around it needs to be redone. Coming over to the shower, we have a very nice new shower. You can see that I've already ran some water through there. A couple of issues here though. So first coming to the grout, we can see that the grout is not sealed. What that means is, is after you finish your grout, uh, depending on the brand you've used, a lot of them require a second coat of like a sealant to prevent moisture soaking into the grout. So we can see that they have missed that. This is, these little dark spots are actually moisture soaking into the grout. Coming down in other areas, you may not see this well on the camera, but we do have some significant gaps and some cracking and even some mist grout. So a new homeowner moving into this home, believing it is moved in ready, they take a shower in here and they are gonna have moisture penetrating the wall, which obviously can lead to moisture damage and even fungal growth. So these are just some things that we find in flipped homes that often are considered move-in ready. But you can tell even just in this bathroom, there are some repairs needed for sure. That's all from me today. Hope you guys have a good one. Stay healthy, stay safe. Bye-bye.